So uh, I work for IBM, and we have an internal dashboard that we use for monitoring Cloud Foundry that uh, we find very useful, and we plan to commit back to the community pretty soon. So I'm going to take you through that. So we run um, two large clusters. We've got a classic cluster. We've got an NG cluster. Uh, fairly large, um, several dozen. Uh, they're not small VMs. They're, they're generally on the large side. And that doesn't include any of the, the other uh, DevOps uh, clusters we have for development, staging, tests, things like that. And that's all running on about uh, 50 OpenStack nodes. Uh, it's about two iDataplex racks. So in the past year running these, these two systems, we've, we've learned some uh, great lessons. Um, so we were able to keep Cloud Foundry running pretty smoothly, well, with fairly few outages. Um, we've been able to discover problems before they happen and fix them and uh, resolve them when they do. So what I'm going to do is uh, show you those key data points that we look for um, and show how the dashboard helps you monitor that data and uh, hopefully share some ideas, start a discussion on where we can go next uh, to find better data in the next uh, releases. And finally, uh, throughout this conference, uh, engage in, and start some discussions about how we can make this better, how we can uh, make this data very visible to, to enable the, the rapid DevOps behind um, uh, Cloud Foundry. So we're looking to get better at this, and um, uh, we're hoping the community benefits from what we've learned as well. So the key data, uh, we're, we're generally looking for the things that can help us predict the problems before they happen, and uh, things that we can track over time so we can know uh, when to start planning to, to grow. And uh, there's three uh, main components behind that at the pass layer we're looking at. So the general health of all the components, whether they're up or down, uh, the DEAs and the apps on top of those, and of course the database nodes and the services. And this is all talking about the fabric itself, not any brokered services. Um, so why do we need those metrics? Um, you know, the, the promise of cloud is to uh, have continuously, avail continuously available services and uh, respond to problems, not react to them, not the uh, fix patch, as, as an earlier speaker talked about, and um, help understand the system as best we can so we can uh, deliver on the problems, promises autom of automation. Um, so the data we're looking for, uh, we can generally find it in NATS. Some of it's in Cloud Controller database, but uh, NATS is the message bus that helps us discover things that are on the system, uh, interrogate their endpoints, and uh, find out about their health. So we monitor the, that data with our metrics dashboard, our admin tool, we call it. Um, and it gives us five key, five key features. Um, so there's the component health, uh, the DAs, the service nodes, things like that. Um, there's information on what they're consuming, what's in the system, um, where it's generally growing, how it's growing, to make sure we're, we're, it's doing what we're expecting it to do. And um, it gives us access to raw logs in there, as well as email notifications when things do go wrong. Um, so here's uh, basically our, our main summary of this dashboard. It essentially gives us um, uh, a running total to basically users, apps and instances within the system, and how those are growing over time. So we had a large hackathon back in June. Uh, since then, on this particular cluster, uh, we've basically tripled growth since June. Uh, we've got a list of DEAs in there, and that's giving us all the information from VARZ. Uh, most importantly, on the right side, the app memory shows us um, the reserved memory of applications on the DEAs versus the max, um, so we can scale. We can drill in to particular DEAs, um, find their general health, and we can click through to the applications that are on there. Uh, for service nodes, uh, we can tell what our capacity is there, um, how many people are using those services. We can kind of sort and find what's most popular. And um, again, if we need to scale those, we can. You can see we've got six Mongos here, five MySQLs, um, and um, they're in pretty good shape right now. Drilling in, you can see um, the actual capacities on those server nodes. Uh, we've got user details. Um, so you can find out who's um, uh, using the system. In this particular example, uh, about five down, we've got someone using a lot of CPU, we can drill into that user, find out what they're doing. Um, applications, same thing. We can see what sort of consumption patterns there are. Uh, we can drive into the, the details, find out where the applications are running and the URLs. Um, and then we have a consolidated list of the logs on the system. So um, for example, uh, this is co-located with the cloud controller and several of the router components. Um, so we can find, look at the Nginx uh, error log right in there. Um, and again, uh, part of our, our, our post-problem um, resolution that we occasionally have to do, uh, it does send email notifications for us to go look at downed components. Okay, so going forward, um, we've got great stuff in there, but we want to resolve gaps uh, between what we're looking at in NG uh, in Classic versus what we're in, uh, doing in NG. Uh, and um, we'd like to see if we can get that same data uh, from the old system into the new. Uh, my colleague Doug Davis actually uh, put in a 
uh, an issue against uh, the cloud controller and NG to see if we can get some of that same data or uh, find a different way to get it. We'd also start to like to link the metrics that we're statically looking at and link that into any sort of automation, um, solving, scaling, uh, doing things like that. Uh, another example uh, came from Bala on our team, um, one of the leaders in our engagement with Cloud Foundry, about preemptively helping out users that are seeing problems because we can look at the logs, we can look at the health of their app, and um, go from there. And um, all this in the hope to, to uh, heal the system, scale, and uh, let it evolve as we can see what sort of patterns we have. Going forward, um, we, we really want to expand um, the usage of this tool, which is currently limited to admins at the moment, um, to help um, other types of admins do more uh, proactive um, things, such as add things, add DAs to the cluster if need be, or in, invoke any Jenkins, Bosch, depending on how you deployed Cloud, uh, Cloud Foundry, um, and possibly show different tiers of admin access. It's all pretty flat right now. Um, and of course, we always have people interested who want to know how we're, how we're doing. Is the system up, maybe something down? Over the weekend, they want to see, all right, I push an app, is there a problem with the system? Um, a way to expose this data and make it um, available to different roles inside the system. And of course, thank you. And of course, the very long, we're hiring too. Everyone's hiring. <laughs>